Hello YouTube, this is Jerry talking at you from the Self-Reliance Essentials Shop in Greensboro, North Carolina. You're looking at the KMG grinder with several different modifications. Um, I just installed a platen chiller unit from Nathan Carruthers, Nathan the Machinist, they call him. He lives down towards um, Charlotte, I guess it's Mooresville or something. Um, I saw his shop and met him several times and he's a pretty cool dude. But anyway, you can see the little two brass nipples there to the rear of this platen and you can see a quarter inch radius here on the front side and three eighths inch radius on the back side. So we'll have water lines coming out through these two holes. There's a tortured path uh, through this aluminum plate and then a tool steel, heat treated tool steel platen here and it's the temperature is controlled uh, because there's a lot of friction going on in this corner um, with the water which is not hooked up yet anyway I thought I would show you how I put this together because uh, it's kind of weird the uh, bungee cord you see in the background is just because I built the height of the thing a little bit too low uh, not really too low, but I was expecting to have the tracking wheel arm be horizontal and so because that's what they say is supposed to be where when you're doing your tracking so what I ended up doing was I just added this bungee cord to increase the downward force and basically re reducing the spring force of coil spring here so that I could get less pressure on this corner so now, when I turn my face converter on to 10, I guess 10 RPM, whatever, I got a good tracking and um, I don't have too much friction going on and I've got it pretty much flat here. The whole purpose of this is to take a, a knife blade that's already been ground and clean up the plunge cut. Like so. And that's how this whole thing works. And if you don't have water cooled system, then you end up burning up your platen and burning up your belt, and then you end up with a bunch of junk that's no longer working. So, this is the way that I solved this problem, and this weldment basically took a whole day to, to make and uh, I'm pretty happy with it because I finally got it tracking pretty well could probably stand to have a little bit more fine tuning but you can see that my tracking wheel is pretty much horizontal which I like so there you have it be hooked up and running tomorrow that's all I have for now bye